I got through the first year of school with no problem. Kindergarten, easy. <laughs> no problem with kindergarten, right? Playing with blocks, coloring, I'm the champ, okay? I start to struggle when I get to the first grade. And uh, when I have the opportunity, and, and as I've had the opportunity to interact with young people with disabilities throughout the United States, what I find is that for many of them, if their disabilities aren't recognized early on, they tend to make themselves known right around the time you enter the first grade. And I think that has very little to do with the development of a child relative to entering that grade, but everything to do with the environment of the first grade. Because that first grade environment is very different than kindergarten, right? Kindergarten, you guys remember, it wasn't that long ago, right? Kindergarten is very different than first grade. What's one of the major differences, right? First grade, you get your first desk. And you're expected to sit there all day long, don't move, and to do your work. But the major difference, I feel, is that in the first grade, your life begins to become very tightly governed by time. Right? A time that your work needs to be done, a time that it, that it uh, starts and finishes. And uh, for a narrow band of the human population, right, that environment that we're introduced to first in the, in the first grade, and then it continues on throughout our education, for a narrow band of the human population, that environment works, right? It's a great place to get your education. Many people can flourish in that environment. But for many of us, and particularly folks like me, it is that environment that I think is at the root of what disables us, right? One of the cornerstone ideas that come out of the disability rights movement is the idea that environment creates disability. And that if we can alter that environment, we can remove what essentially disables a person.